All right, we're going to take a look at an alternator on a test stand. So we can see the alternator's in the stand, clamped into place. Negative cable from the test stand is mounted to the bracket, so the ground of the housing. Positive on the output terminal of our alternator. This 12.52 is the open circuit voltage of the battery inside the test stand. So what we're going to do is turn on the drive motor, which is going to rotate the rotor inside the alternator, and we will see if we get an output voltage from the alternator itself. So at this time we see no voltage change on the output of the alternator. It's reading on the battery terminal and it's also reading on the ground. So what we're going to do, this is uh, an alternator that has an R terminal right here. So that's that residual terminal to create or excite the rotor field which will produce an output of our alternator. So what's happened is that the residual magnetism of the rotor has dissipated and we're going to reintroduce it essentially bypassing the regulator in the alternator and directly full fielding this alternator. So we're just going to do that momentarily. I'm going to use a jumper. I'm going to take from the battery positive terminal and I'm going to spark on to the R terminal. As soon as I did that we could see that the residual magnetism or an electromagnet was created in the rotor and that caused the alternator then to produce an output as the rotor interacted with the stator and the stator was then able to send it through the diode trio back in to the rotor to be able to regulate our voltage. We see that the regulator is functioning because the output voltage of my alternator is between 13.8 and 14.8.